Hello, everybody, coming to you from the AVN Show 2023 at the Joy Dot City Browsers booth. I am here with the incomparable, doesn't even need an introduction, motherfucking Angela Waite. Thank you so much. <laughs> It is so good to see you. It's so good to see you too. You can already hear my voice is cracking just a little bit on some words like that. Eh. I know. Are you starting to lose your voice like everybody else? Just a little bit. Yeah. I have to say, um, I don't know how, I don't normally come for this many days. I don't know how I'm going to do two more days of this. Well, yeah, because are you here the whole time doing interviews? Um, I'm here for like three to four hour chunks. It's still a lot. So, yeah, it's yeah. still a lot. I think the worst is going to the parties afterwards and the loud music right. and having to speak so loudly yes. over the music so yes. that everyone can hear. I am not going... The browser's party last night is the only one I'm going to. I'm not going to any uh, other parties. Then you, you should be fine. Are Me? you... Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. <laughs> we'll see. You have a lot of parties that you're going to, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Everybody wants, everybody wants the Angela White there. It's not a party if Angela White's not there. Well, I'm going to do my best to go to as many as I can. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how many I get to. But you're also really good at, like, taking care of yourself. One of the things, as you know, that I admire about you greatly is that you drink so much water. That's all I drink. <laughs> <laughs> and I always, like, think to myself, like, you know, if one would even speak about New Year's resolutions, I would be like, drink water like Angela White. Like, <laughs> Angela White drinks so much water. That's why she looks so great. That's why she's able to, like get through days like this and I just I don't know why I can't bring myself to do it do you not are you not thirsty do you not you know even when I'm thirsty I like ignore my thirst it's it's a weird it's There's weird your problem yeah I know <laughs> right I just don't listen to my body ah okay yeah I tend to listen to my body yeah yeah I'm super hydrated all the time I'm yeah. always wet is what I'm trying to say Holly <laughs> always wet god great segue um so AVN has yeah. come back after a two-year hiatus. How does three, it feel to three be... Three years, isn't it, really, technically, sort of? Well, in terms of in-person, because the last in-person was 2020. Yes, mm. 2020, and then there was... Oh, yeah, I guess two. Yeah, yeah it's two. It feels, I, like, I, it feels like three to me. Yeah, yeah, I've lost track of time. Yeah. I think everybody... I was actually listening to... To go off on a total tangent, I was listening to an NPR um, show about like the elasticity of time in our minds and how people's perception of time has changed drastically since COVID. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like there's kind of like a before COVID time and then like an after COVID time? Like Absolutely. That's like how I benchmark yeah. a lot of things that have happened in my life. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah. There was just this sort of time warp yeah. that was COVID and now we're slowly kind of getting back to a normal-ish yeah. life again. How yeah. was COVID for you? Well, I mean, it was uh, upsetting that I couldn't do what I love the most, which is connecting with people on set. Like, that's what I really love is having yeah. that one-on-one -on -one connection with people yeah. as I'm fucking. Can I swear? On yes, you can. <laughs> um, but it was like... <sighs> I, may, I always make the best of any situation. Mm -hmm. And the great thing about COVID, for me at least, was that I then started focusing on OnlyFans. Mm. And OnlyFans really boomed during COVID yeah. for, for all performers. And so I was able to use that platform to still connect with my fans and still express myself sexually. Because I think if I didn't have OnlyFans, I didn't have that, that way of still performing in some way or still expressing my sexuality, I think uh, it, it would have been a lot more of a negative time for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you, actually not recently now, but you are contracted with Browsers yes. um, for studio performances. You know, since you're obviously doing really well in OnlyFans, and I know that you didn't sign the contract with Browsers, like, for money alone, what made you decide to to make that move? Because so many girls are now just like, fuck it, I can just do OnlyFans, I don't need to work for anybody else. What made you decide to, to make that move? Well, I still love shooting studio porn. Mm -hmm. I love... I love the environment on set. I love creating. Um, I love that, you know, Brazzers puts together some pretty creative scripts. Yeah. Especially for their showcase scenes. Mm -hmm. So um, Brazzers contacted me and proposed the idea and talked about how we re they were really doing collaborative scenes, which really appealed to me. Yeah. And, I mean, I never want to stop shooting studio porn. And Brazzers is such an incredible company. I've been shooting for them since I moved here to the US and they've always been really good to me. And when they proposed the idea and said, yep, this is fully collaborative, we want to help bring your ideas to life. It's like, this is the perfect partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know I love that about them. They are definitely 
um, a studio that you know really looks at the performers and like what suits them and and what do they want to do, and um, it's it's nice. It's kind of like having this great producing partner with you know like a good budget yeah, to no, work it's, with. It's great, and and also I gain access to Brazz's exclusive contract stars. Yes. So there's a lot of the, a lot of performers that are Brazz's contract stars that I want to. Fuck, so. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We get to fuck each other. So um, it's been a while since we've done a podcast together. Yeah, it has been. When was the last one? It Maybe was before COVID. Yeah, it was definitely before COVID. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I, in terms of time, I know it was before COVID. And you were like a big star then, but your career has just catapulted since then. So first of all, congratulations on all of your success. You. Secondly... Do you feel any difference? Like, how has it affected your life, if at all? That's a great question. Um, I, I don't feel any different because I've just continued to pursue my dreams and do what I love. That's always been what I got into the industry for and what continues to drive me. So I just have been continuing on that path. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, you know, I was speaking to somebody who said, the funny thing about fame for some people is that, you know, the people who get famous don't necessarily change, but the people around them change. Mm. Have you seen, have you felt that people, do you feel that people treat you kind of differently now? No, but I do surround myself with people that, you know, that love and care for me and that I love and care for. So I think I've got a good group of people around me. I would say that. Um, So no, I don't think so. I guess I get invited to more parties. (laughs) (laughs) Which just means you have to hydrate more. Yeah, exactly. Because it's just your days are longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I, I will say that, you know, you've always been the same. Like, I've, you know, shot a lot of girls, shot their first scene, and then they've become super famous and they've changed. But you've always stayed the same. And um, I was actually speaking with someone about this recently. Like, I've worked with some celebrities here and there. And, you know, they're just... I just love porn stars. Like, you guys are just like, there's something about being in porn. I think there's something about the vulnerability, the fact that you, like, you kind of, you're, you're very exposed, um, that just, there's no, like, bullshit. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, there's just no pretense. There's no, like, you know, holding back in a way. You're just like, you are who you are. We bear it all. Yeah. Literally. Absolutely. But also, metaphorically, we really do bear it all on camera. And so. you're just, you guys are all, you're just my favorite people to work with. You're all such like, you're just fun and like, you're there and you treat everybody equally. And it's just like, it's just really nice. Like you always remember every crew member's name on set, like ask about them. Like everybody loves you. You're just like such a pleasure to work with. I mean, <laughs> you. you know, we have this joke about renaming my podcast. Everybody loves Angela because whenever I ask somebody like, who's your favorite person to work with? They're like, Angela White. I'm like, of course. It's incredible to hear that, and all, yeah, also surreal sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, well, yeah. you are definitely one of my favorites. You're everybody's favorite, and um, thank you. Just so happy to be able to chat with you for a little bit. Yeah, I absolutely adore you. I love shooting with you. I love your podcast. You know, I'm an avid listener of your I podcast. Know. So. <laughs> Love your podcast. I love what you're doing for the industry and kind of thank humanizing you. sex workers. So thank you for everything that you do. Thank you. Well, no, yeah. and thank you for like being such an incredible model for so many other women, you know, like somebody who can deliver these incredibly intense, passionate scenes, but also be like so organized and together and focused on branding. And like, I mean, I think that you're, you know, so many young women in the industry look up to you and I think that you're such a great example. And if anything else, um, you should be encouraging more people to drink water like myself. (laughs) Get wet and drink water. Dude, someone needs to give you like a fucking water sponsorship. (laughs) Like smart water needs to sponsor you. I feel like that, that is like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much all I ever have in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's water. I'm, I'm, I'm like going to, um, I'm manifesting Manifest. that for you in 2023 is um, some kind of like water sponsorship. It's just going to be called wet. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you need to come up with your own Maybe. line of water. There we go. There, there we go. There. Angela White's wet. 
All right, we're getting, we're getting, so people are full of ideas about this. All right, we'll talk later. Amazing new branding opportunity. I only want like a 20% commission, that's fine. <laughs> All right, Angela, um, can you tell everybody where they can find you online and if they don't already follow you, which they should? Okay, so the best place to go is AngelaWhite.com. You can follow me on Instagram, the Angela White, Twitter, at Angela White, TikTok, at Angela White. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? I mean, there's TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. I don't really know. Yeah, on no, Facebook. Nobody on Facebook. cares about Facebook. I don't know. But I am. Well, you know what? There's a bunch of fakes. So it's... Wait, actually, what is it? I think it's Angela White TV. <laughs> <laughs> but if they go to AngelaWhite.com, that will have that all the That has all links. my links. Okay. AngelaWhite.com. Yeah. AngelaWhite.com. That is the, the place to go. Um, of course, you guys can find me on Instagram at Holly Randall and on Twitter at Holly Randall. And of course, uh, do not forget, this show is being brought to you today by Joy City. Go to joy.city to sign up for email updates and be kept up to date on everything metaverse-wise. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.